Hey, how you doing? It's Marcus. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting late night here in New York City. So I'm reading the Daily News today, the uh, liberal liberal paper here in New York City that's uh, reduced itself to a uh, tabloid, a tabloid newspaper, right? And um, it's a good old hit piece, right? They love a good old hit piece. It's silly season, right? It's, it's all, uh, we're in New York City and it's all uh, liberal Democrats jockeying for position, right? So I'm out there on uh, Sunday. Uh, interviewing some of the local politicians. So this uh, this piece, I'm going to uh, th this put a bad taste in my mouth, right? So Daily News, right? It's the same publication that did all the hit pieces on Bernie Sanders when he came through town. They supported Hillary Clinton. They 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 pick and choose based on how much money you give them or who you know, uh, right? So they, they you know they they're they're uh, notorious for for uh, uh, being a pay for play rag, right? So. They put a hit piece out on uh, New York Senator Marty Golden. Now, okay, it's no surprise. Marty Golden is, uh, I, I supported Marty Golden. Why? Because Marty Golden supported me. In, D, in Conti versus DSNY, of all the councilmen in New York City, all the, the liberal Democratic councilmen that are so so full of themselves about about how 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 liberal and how 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 for justice they are and social issues, when when people are getting run over by tickets, nobody said a freaking word, right? Except Marty Golden, right? He was the only senator, and I sent to everybody, right? I informed everybody, the mayor, the the Letitia James, the, 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 the public advocate, all of the city councilmen, all of the New York state senators, all of the, uh, uh, the, the congressmen and all the senators and, and, and Schneiderman's office and everybody. And the only one who came to the rescue, the only one who spoke up about the illegal ticket quota in New York was Marty Golden. So, so when I see a, a smear piece, I want. I'm like, what? What did Marty do? What did Marty do? Hey, man, what did Marty do? So it turns out that uh, Marty Marty Golden, the Daily News, wrote a piece that Marty Golden, the senator, went skydiving, right? And he did it for for uh, for for a uh, a good cause. He did it to, to help veterans raise money. I, I don't know. I don't get into the, the whole. The, I'm not going to get into the minutia of what he did and why he did it. But he did it as a, as a, a benefactor. The benefactors of the event were veterans, right? So the Daily News puts out a piece. Senator Marty Golden skydives while receiving an NYPD disability benefit. <laughs> so Golden, Marty Golden was, a, uh, was an NYPD uh, cop back in the 80s, right? He's, 70, he's 67 years old now. He's been, he's been a senator for over 20 years, right? And... Um, so the so so a, a a video surfaces. I'm going to play the video right in in a minute. Right, a video surfaces of Marty Golden jumping out of a plane, you know, and and skydiving, trying to generate money and attention for veterans. He's doing something good for veterans, and the, and the, and the, the the Daily News smears him. Why? Because they because they take money. They're they're liberal left, right? And who are the two jack jack offs on the left that are promoting it? Right? It's these guys, right? These two clowns. This guy, this guy's on Facebook saying, oh, Marty Golden's, Marty Golden's jumping out of planes and he's on disability. And this, this cocksmoker right here is on there. Oh, oh, fucking not Marty Golden. I want to be Marty. <laughs> it's two idiots, right? Two idiots, right? So let's watch the video and you make up your own mind, right? Watch the video and then we'll Good talk morning. You, right? Good morning. How are you doing today? How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. And what is your name again? Senator Marty Golden. Marty Golden. Marty Golden. First time you skydiving? Yes, it is. Anything special you want to say before you get on the plane? Well, we're doing this for one reason. We're going up there for our veterans. This is about the Road Home Foundation. Those are our soldiers that come home that are significantly wounded, hurt. They get them back on their feet, make sure they get the right medical treatment, make sure we get housing, make sure we get jobs for them. So the Road Home Foundation is because of a young man that was uh, hurt desperately back in 2009 in Iraq. This gives us the opportunity. His father is the head of this, uh, Mr. Morocco, Alex Morocco, and we're doing a great job here and helping our veterans across the great city and state of New York. Good. Thank you so much for your service, Senator. 
Thank you. And I hope you have an awesome time. We're going to have a great time. This is about the right, the right reason. We're going up there for the right reason. For our men and women in, in the service. It's in the arms about the Bruno. Bruno is so interviewing him. He's going to take him up in the plane and he's going to jump out of the plane, right? <laughs> so. So here you go. He's talking about Marty Golden is the center. He's talking about Roadhouse Foundation, right? It's a good foundation. It's it, the whole the whole event is to support is to support veterans, veterans, right? And again, it's the, the, the Daily News is trying to make a hippie. So let's just so let's keep watching. It's this is this is this is sick. That's sick. Is that him? That you down? Is that him? This is a great ride. This is a great, great ride. I'll tell you right now. I gotta do this again. The more money we can wait for our veterans, then we gotta make sure home road, the organization is Road Home Foundation. Let's make sure we do the right thing and donate to them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I am indeed. How could I not, Roberto? You were a great man to go up with. Thank you very, very much. I gotta do this six more times before I do it by myself, right? Yeah. I uh, gotta do that. Six more times. One, two, three. This is awesome, right? I mean, here he, here's a guy, right? Here's the senator for New York. He's he's out there living his life. It's like it's like what do you look? A guy a guy is a cop, right? He's a cop. He, Marty Golden was a cop, and he was an NYPD cop, and he got hurt in a narcotics bust. He hurt in a bust. He hurts, and he busted his knee in a bust, right? So. What's the message? What's the message, Daily News? If you're if you're a disabled person, like a veteran, you're supposed to sit in a effing wheelchair for the rest of your life and not get out and live your life, right? I mean, is is that what we're talking about here? This is this is this is pure bullshit, right here. That <clears throat> Golden has been paid over a million dollars in tax-free pension money since 1983. A year, a car struck the ex-cop while making a narcotics arrest, severely injuring his knee, right? 
He says, uh, Marty says, I lost the ligaments in my knee. He's previously said describing his on-duty injury, right? So, look, look, look. It, this, the NYPD, right, has, is a police department. It's a paramilitary, quasi-military operation that has a very high standard of physical fitness, right? They jump over fences. They chase people. They tackle people. They arrest people. They put their bodies through rigor, right? Like a fireman, right? So if, you, if you've got a bad knee, right? If you got a bad knee, you wouldn't, maybe, maybe the, the NYPD decided on his, you know, on his behalf, they, they say that in the article. I'll put the article down below. You can read it yourself. Uh, that, um, that the NYPD, Marty Golden actually wanted to stay as a cop and they said, nah, you, this, is, this ain't going to work out for you, right? So, so, so he's a disabled cop, right? And he's but but that doesn't stop him from living the rest of his life, like jumping out of a plane uh, for veterans. So, so this piece really worked me up. You know, it's like, look, look, liberal left, right? I I interviewed both of these these crackers, right? Both of these guys, right? And and um, you know, it's like you want you want it you want to champion social issues, you want to champion universal health care for all. You want, you know, you want uh, uh, free and fair elections. But then you then you chant, you get behind the hit piece like the Daily News, you know, smearing a smear campaign on a guy that's been, uh, you know, public servant for over 20 years to attack him on his record, attack him on his 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 policy. Right. But don't attack the guy because of his. Because it's like ageism. You're like, you know, you guys are all about, you know, the, the same characters that are running around pussy, pink pussy hats. Uh, you know, now, now you're, uh, now, now it's like, uh, it's just, it's just silly season, man. You know what I mean? It's silly season. Daily news, shame on you. Daily news, shame on you. And you, these two guys, these two guys. Peace out. It's Marcus Conti reporting from uh from the from the late night in New York City. <laughs> I hope that was coherent. Peace out.